A Prince George's County detective is being called a hero after stopping a brutal beating police believe could have resulted in murder. The detective was leaving work when he heard someone calling for help, so he followed those sounds and he found a man beating another man with a shovel. Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell talked to the detective and he's live now with his story. Brad? Well, Allison, this is the parking lot at police headquarters. This is where all the detectives park their their cars. And this is where Detective Mike Ebaugh was Saturday night when you're right. He heard a sound, so he jumped in his car. He didn't have to go very far just down to that corner to prevent, as you said, what everyone thinks was going to be a murder. As a homicide detective, Mike Ebaugh usually arrives on a crime scene well after the fact. But Saturday night, as he stepped outside police headquarters, his timing probably saved the life. I heard a, uh, a wail um, out in the distance and it just didn't sound right. And I could hear the sound of something smacking something. Well, the officer heard that sound, but he couldn't see where it was coming from. So he jumped in his police car, left headquarters over here. And when he rounded this corner and got past that fence, that's when he saw the brutal assault in progress. The victim was on the street, on his back, hands over his head. His attacker was slamming this shovel down on his face. He had it up in the air, and he smacked it down on his face. And he was going up again to do it again. So I jumped out of my car and gun-faced him and gave him commands to drop the shovel. The 48-year-old suspect, David Hamilton, obeyed that command. Paramedics say it was likely just in time another blow may have killed the victim. A half a block away, April Alston's daughter saw the whole incident. Yeah, she just was like really, really just terrified. She has no doubt the victim was about to be killed. It seemed as though he would have, yeah, if the officer didn't come and put a stop to it. Detective Ebaw says it's just what police do. I think there's a lot of unsung heroes out there and they don't get noticed and um, I'm glad this worked out. Well, we're told that the victim in this case is still hospitalized, but he is expected to pull through. The suspect is facing first degree assault charges. And listen to this. This whole thing, beating a man over, a sh with, over the face with a shovel, was about a $5 bet. In Palmer Park, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News. Okay.